What's up, y'all? Zane here. Um, Apex, I can't play, and if I do get into the game, it's not a good experience, so I'm not even going to try. Um, I play, I tried playing the game earlier last night, and I just, yeah. <laughs> um, but hopefully they fix it. You know, respawns pretty quick on it, usually. Um, except when I ask for Titanfall 3, but that's neither here nor there. But we're going to be talking, I think, heirlooms in Apex Legends are the most sought after thing in gaming today. So I've always had this in mind in what video I could make on Apex Legends and it's going to be about heirlooms because my girl Watson, season two character, maybe you heard of her. She doesn't have an heirloom yet. So yeah, we're going to be talking about why the hell Watson doesn't have one. I would like crypto to have like a data knife from like Titanfall, but I feel like they'd go you know, something, dude, they, they usually do something pretty off the wall when they uh, make heirlooms so I don't know we're gonna be talking I'm gonna be ranting this is pretty much a ranting video but before that I want to get into my thanks on the uh the people over on twitch you know my homies on twitch they uh they all came through and I usually don't stream with a goal in mind but this past September I had a kid do right and Wednesday he showed up he's a week early so we were like damn but um <laughs> yeah he came he's doing well mom and kate are fine but i streamed weeks prior to that or weekends prior i should say that with a sub goal on my channel which i never do i never expect something when i stream i want to do it for fun so and they came through i hit 50 subs and i've never hit 50 before and i'm just beyond blessed i'm not going to take this as like a i'm going somewhere you know what i'm saying but like i'm just beyond blessed i did ask for something that i thought would help my content and it it turned out really well i like to think i think i look damn good even if i can't grow hair right here but um yeah um thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart it means the world to me that you guys trust me this much and have this hope in me so i hope i can take my content next level like i thought i could so let's do it we're gonna get right into the video now into the topic of the video right apex legends has these things called heirlooms everyone knows what they are i think they're the most sought after thing in gaming personally but um obviously ea is going to make their they make their money so they're going to do the ea thing and be like hey you spend more money you're going to get your heirloom faster because they are guaranteed every 500 packs everyone knows that but um yeah i'm a season zero player and before or after I I was a Bloodhound main and I just think he's a very important player to have on your team I switched to Watson because I think Watson hands the team a better like like oh if we need to back out we can or like we need to space ourselves out we can do that and that's why I like Watson because like no one's gonna push a Watson usually or Caustic. Caustic is the same way. No one's going to usually push those two. And that's why I think she's a valuable person to have on a team. So when someone like Rampart gets her heirloom first, kind of blows my mind because she's kind of like brand new to the game still. She's, I don't know how many seasons she's been in, like maybe two or three now. But I don't know a Rampart main. Like if you guys are a Rampart main, like just before, before her heirloom. Because I love her heirloom. Don't get me wrong. Her heirloom is like probably my favorite one. Um, on Xbox, I have Octanes and Bloodhounds. And I like Bloodhounds, but Ramparts is just so unique and so cool. I just like hers the most right now. But yeah, Watson Watson doesn't have one. She's a season two player character. I'm pretty sure Crypto is the same season, maybe the season after. And they don't have one. Mirage got one. And I'm pretty sure he's like right before Watson or after Watson. He's somewhere in that time frame, but he has an heirloom. The first like original ones I get, they should have heirlooms already. I get that. But everyone else and they give it to Austic, Mirage and Revenant. There you go. That's the other one I was looking for. And Rampart. Like I don't I don't get it. So I just need like a science behind it. Like myself, I like to understand how or why something works so i like took a i was taking a deep thought into it and i was like maybe it's like a usage rate right 
like it's not going to be win rate because I'm pretty sure Watson has the highest win rate because she has the smallest or er, pick rate, right? But I don't know. I just I really don't know. Um, I do think Watson is I'm defending my girl here because I'm a Watson main, right? I do think she's a good one to have on your team. My team I prefer would be like a Bloodhound Watson and I'd probably say like, oh, those are two biased characters. I kind of like disqualify myself right there low key. But you need to rotate. Valkyrie would be good on it. Um, lifelines are always good to have. That, that's probably my two preferred ones. Or a Seer even. And maybe a Wraith. You know, just to rotate faster. But usually Wraiths are just, they have a bad stereotype. They just die and then leave. But, yeah. She, she, I don't understand how they pick these heirloom characters. Because... I, lo I looked at Tracker Network and I don't know how accurate this is. But in the last seven days, right? Besides Apex being deceased, um, Lifeline has, she tops the charts. And I get that. She's going to res. Usually she doesn't, but she's going to try resing. Um, Wraith, she has good rotate, like I said. Octane, he can rotate and he's, he's valuable, I think, sometimes. Sometimes they get a little gung ho and they're just like, hey. You know, it is what it is. Whatever. Bloodhound, very good to have on your team. Pathfinder, good rotate. You know, Bangalore, I like her ult and her smokes because they kind of like separate you from the enemy team. Say you're getting like third party, you can like kind of smoke out of it a little bit. Or like her ult, you can like space yourselves out between the teams or like actually do damage at the same time. But I do like them. Um, Gibby, Gibby as well. I like his ult, but. And his shield is kind of good, I guess. But usually when you see a Gibby shield, I, I think I can speak for a lot of people playing Apex. They're going to push that shield nine times out of ten, I think, right? Uh, Horizon, I don't understand. Maybe maybe her ult's the only good thing about her. But anything else, I just I just can't justify. But she gets picked a lot, so maybe someone above everyone else, I guess. I don't know. Valkyrie, I like Valkyrie a lot. If you play her right, she's going to be very valuable, especially in the new ranked in the pros. I think I think they'll take full advantage of her abilities. But she, you just fly up. People use it wrong. They fly up and get out. But really, you should be using it to like scan for other teams around you so that you can find like a nice little hole to get in. Um, Seer. Seer's, Seer's a good character. We all know that. He was kind of broken at first, but now he's turned back down a little bit. But he get, he has vision, like vision out the ass. So you should always, should always try picking a seer if that option is allowed. If Bloodhound isn't, obviously, I think Bloodhound's the best recon character. But I'm also biased, so let me know what y'all think. Rampart, we're gonna get to Rampart last. She has a usage rate of 3.2, and in the last seven days, you can't consider that like a like a fact, you know. Loba. Lova like late game I feel like is more valuable than early game just because she has her black market and she has access to like swap shields if needed or grab ammo. Caustic, just like I said earlier, Watson and Caustic, you will not push. And that's why I like them. I think they're valuable because third parties are everywhere in this game. So if you see a Caustic trap, you're usually not going to push it. Um, same thing with the Watson fence. Revenant. Besides the Reptain meta, um, I don't understand. I mean, it's pretty low now because it's, they patched the uh, Reptain meta, I think, or did something to it. I just, people stopped using it for some reason. But he's he's all right. I, I, don't, I don't hate his ult. I do think it's smart to like use it and push and then do damage and then try it. See where, then you assess what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, Mirage, I can't justify Mirage. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't. Fuse, I like Fuse late game. I don't think he's valuable early game. That j might just be me. I don't know. I just like him late game because when the circle's condensed and a little smaller and tighter, um, yeah, he's gonna do damage. <laughs> he just shoots that thing up. He's, it's a wrap usually, and you really got him like if if you have a good fuse. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a big ass ring of fire, but that's just me. And we're gonna get to Watson last because I gotta defend her and Crypto. Crypto is actually surprisingly low, but I also, I, I get it. I wouldn't play Crypto as a recon player because 
when you're using his drone and you gotta be quick like you gotta be quick with that thing if you're gonna be a good crypto but you're gonna you're gonna stand still and just like i don't know stay away from your team and then they're gonna, they're gonna push and they're gonna be like hey where you at man and something like that you know so i i understand crypto being the worst but i thought watson had the lowest at first but it's only by 0.1 but rampart right we're gonna go rampart versus watson and i just i just can't imagine i don't think i've ever heard of a rampart main like i said let me know if you guys are i'm very interested to see some gameplay but i just i just can't justify it it's like her shields you could shoot down really quick and if you can't then you can just go around them usually you can't shoot through them i get that but you can still like poke the shield and then it's kind of useless at that point but watson just can cancel out all these big ults like valkyrie's ability not her ult but her ability gibby and bang's ults like her fly net can do it and everyone else i mean like i just think i, I just think you get like bunker down if you have to and she has that ability to separate yourselves from the other teams and no one's gonna push your ass because you have a watson that's what i think i'm just biased but back to the heirloom part of it how does i i gotta look it up but one second so she came out in season six right rampart came out in season six two four seasons after watson that's just crazy how does she have it maybe it's just easier like what do y'all I, I need to know what y'all think like just leave a comment something just let me know what y'all think because i i just can't put any science behind it like i've seen i've seen tasers i've seen like using like i don't know they say it's gonna be like a little like this little gun thing i'm just like what the hell is this bro <laughs> um but yeah ramparts i love ramparts uh heirloom so i'm not like bashing on it or anything or bashing on rampart or bash bashing on rampart mains if you are one like i said i've just never known a rampart main and i just kind of think it's crazy that she has one before watson or crypto but um yeah let me know what y'all think and uh please subscribe i'm trying to get the 100 get that custom url uh check me out on twitch 10 o'clock uh, p.m eastern time on nights or weekends and yeah thank y'all